What's up everyone, Danny Lina back with another Warobots video. A lot of people have been asking me about Mr. Ochi Kochi. And they want to know is this thing still good, so let's do a build and gameplay and find out. When it comes to the weapons, pretty much anything that does big damage up close is going to work really well. Blast shotguns are good. The best thing you can have is the electric weapons. So if you have got like the Shafang type of weapons, throw those on there. Those are going to be your best bet. But if you don't have those, just throw something on there that does good damage up close and you'll be fine. When it comes to the modules, I'm either going to do one nuke amp, one immune amp, and one repair amp, or I could do two immune amps, or if you don't have those, nuke amp and balance units. When it comes to the drone, I think Pascal, Shy, or the Whiteout all do really, really good on here. I like those three a lot. Now when it comes to pilot skills, I've got Roadhog, Defense Expert, Destroyer, Armor Expert, Tough Guy, and we have Death Survivor. Now this robot does have two legendary pilots. I honestly don't notice a whole lot of difference between the two pilots, so I think you're fine with either one. Some people say they notice a pretty big difference between the two, but they feel almost identical, at least to me. So let's go play some games and see this guy in action, but first... If you purchase something on the Warabots web shop, don't forget to use author code DannyLightning, all lowercase in one word, that helps support my channel, and you might find some discounts over there as well. There's a link to the web shop in the video's description, thank you. Alright, so we, we spawned in on the spaceship map, and for some reason, I don't think I really like this map, most people do, but there's just something about it that I don't care for, but hey, we're gonna go into the center, and we're gonna blast somebody in the face. Whoever comes to center, you're going to wish you were never born, sir. You're going to wish you were da 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 dead Wait a second, you are going to be dead. Alright, let's get him, let's get him. Let's see if we can shoot him off of the thing. Now, one thing I've noticed is a lot of OT coaches have been throwing my robots across the map. And for some reason, mine doesn't normally throw anybody's robots across the map. I don't know why that is, but I'm having a hard time blasting other robots across the map lately. Now this thing feels a lot slower than it used to, but when you go into the ability, you can cover ground really, really fast. Like, the ability lasts for a long time, and it's crazy, insanely speedy. It's like Speedy Gonzales once you go into the, uh, into the ability, but when I'm not in the ability, I feel like I'm just like a turtle. <laughs> I'm just like a turtle cre creeping around. Alright, so right now what we want to do is just kind of make sure these guys don't come into the center. Right now we're kind of protecting our center beacon. I see a whole bunch of guys out here and I don't want them to get in here. So let's go out here, attack, and then we're going to retreat. So we'll go in, we'll go back out. Oh wait, here comes a scorpion. Sir, you shouldn't have done that. Just wait till I... Oh, he's gone, he's gone, never mind. I was going to say, just wait till I get a little bit of ammo back. I'm going to stomp your face. And then he left. I didn't even get a chance to stomp on his face. That was not fair, Mr. Scorpion. Come back. I want to get you. <laughs> Come back, Mr. Scorpion. I want to destroy your robots. I wonder if that's him on up on the roof over there. All right, so right now we're going to do a sneak attack. I see a really good d way to destroy this Mars here. He's been kind of a pain in my butt. So, bam, we got him. Now we're probably going to go back in there, right? We want to make sure they can't steal our stuff. You know what? Let's go get that beacon back there. Never mind. We're going to go we're going to go get that beacon back there. We'll steal their home beacon, right? Who cares about center? Let's get their home. I mean, when you see that thing wide open like that and you see a good opportunity, you might as well go take it. So after this, I think we'll go get that beacon that's in front of me. Or we'll go back into the center, depending on what happens when we get over there. But let's rush towards that thing. I should say, let's, let's turtle, turtle it. <laughs> now we're rushing. There we go. But bam We hit the ability, and we are going to... All right, somebody already got it, so that's a good thing. Let me help these guys out. It looks like they're in there in the center, but we have three beacons, so we're fine. You always want to pay attention to how many beacons your team has, because you need to get three and hold three, right? That's the whole point of a beacon rush. Get three beacons, hold three beacons, and protect those beacons. Really, I should have just stayed in the center, but there wasn't anything going on. It was boring at the time. So I went out there to beat some people up. All right, there we got a kill. We're getting our beacon back. Here comes a Fenrir. I'm going to go ahead and mothership myself, and let's beat this guy up. Sir, you got to die. Da -da 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 die, Mr. Fenrir. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, come on, come on. We got one DOT, we got one rust, and we got two heavy hitting blast shotguns. We should probably make quick work out of this Fenrir, I hope. 
but normally I think I do run two repair amplifiers on this guy, so I'm not quite as strong today as normal, but it's feeling pretty durable right now. All right, we got him. He's dead. Somebody's shooting me. All right, sir, please stop that. Please stop that. He's like hitting me with his little pea shooters over there. That is not very nice, Mr. Guy. I don't appreciate that one bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and protect this beacon for a minute, or I'm going to go kill this guy. I think we're going to go kill this guy. I probably should stay and protect my beacon, but like I said, it's boring in there sometimes. <laughs> Generally, you don't want to leave your beacon. Like right now, we've only got we've only got two beacons, so I probably should have stayed in there to protect it. But they just finally got me. That was a lot of fun. That was actually a really good run with the Ochi Kochi. That's probably about the best you can expect to have. So let's go play another game and see how this one goes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate that. And don't forget the Danny Lightning code if you buy something on the web shop. All right, thanks. So let's go run in towards the center here. It looks like we've already got that under control. The enemy team's already got two beacons. We've only got one. That means my team's not going to the beacon. So let's run out here. Bam! We got a smash kill real quick. Smashed and bashed. Da 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 die. So now we're going to get the next one. All right, he's dead. He's dead. I'm locked down. I can't move, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. For some reason, that guy just went right past me. That was a mistake, sir. That was a big mistake, so we smashed that dude. This little guy is about to get his, get his, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I lost my words. <laughs> I'm stumbling him. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is nasty. That is nasty. Don't shoot me with those things. I'm not really sure what that was. Was that a behemoth? I think it had four heavy weapons, so it must have been a behemoth or a crisis, but... Whatever was shooting at me looked terrifying. I think it was those uh, Hell Weapons or Scotties or whatever. And those aren't very good, so it probably looked worse than it was. All right, I need my healing module. We're going to have to hit that here in a second because I'm almost dead. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know why I didn't hit it. That was stupid. I died. If I would have hit the healing, as long as I wasn't rusted, I would have survived. But whatever. You know... This just shows you we had a really good run and we had an average run, you know. Even right there, the Ochi Kochi did well. It, it didn't do great, but it did well. I mean, that's kind of the average game I had it. If I wasn't an idiot and I would have hit the healing module, I might have survived a lot longer. But uh, I, I don't know what I was waiting for. I was I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. But let's smash this guy right here with the green demons. We got a double kill. I mean... Ochi Kochi is no Curry. Curry is still the best robot in the game, hands down. I mean, Curry is just a beast. This is one of my favorite robots ever right now. It's fun. It's good. It's just, uh, it, it's a tank. I like tanks. I like things that are really hard to kill. I don't think that Curry is unfair, but it, it's almost to the point of being, being unfair. Now, the Raptor, if you don't hit it with rust, that is the most unfair robot ever. Now, I'll tell you what, Ochi Kochi was probably the worst robot we've ever seen. In my opinion, that was the worst. When the Ochi Kochi first came out, it was uh, it was ridiculous. Then they nerfed it a couple times, and it's not so bad now. But when it first came out, it was a complete nightmare. Everybody hated it, unless you had it. It was not fun. It took a lot of fun out of the game. It was so overpowered when it first came out, so... I don't know. And they were everywhere. Like, they were seriously everywhere. It was crazy. It was crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and smash up these guys. Come on, get them, 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 get them. We're going to go ahead and hit the ability. And what? Come on, man. His curry killed my curry. All right, we're going to bring out Mr. Luchador. I noticed yesterday when I was playing the Luchador... I didn't really have a lot of pilot skills on it, so that's something I'm going to have to fix, right? I'm going to need to fix that. We're going to have to put some pilot skills on this thing and make it tough. And, you know, it's kind of weird, but the last couple days I've had really squishy hangers. Especially yesterday. All my robots died really fast. They felt really squishy. I notice you get days where that happens, like... You'll have three or four days where your robots feel like they have no durability. And then after three or four days, they go back to normal and they feel durable again. I can't really figure out why that happens. But I'd say about once every two to three months, I have a squishy day or a squishy week where all my robots suck. 
and I don't know why that is. I'm, I still cannot figure that one out. But it does happen sometimes, and uh, it's never fun when it does, but it does happen. And I, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of on the squishy side. Like my Fenrir is dying way faster than it should. I feel like my Curry is dying way faster than it should. So all my robots, it feels like my hangar is semi-nerfed right now. <laughs> oh god, that was embarrassing. What kind of a jump was that, man? You messed that one up. Something's, some, something's wrong with you, sir. You can't even jump properly. You can't even jump. I mean, you just jumped right face first into a wall. Something, something's wrong with you, sir. Something's wrong with you, sir. Learn to jump, man. Learn to drive. You know what I mean? All these bad drivers out there, and I guess I'm one of them. <laughs> All right, let's go smash this guy really fast. Boom, we got the triple kill. Ba -ba -ba Bam, we got him, we got him. Smashed him in the face. Smashed him in the face. Smashed him, smashed him, smashed him in the face. All right, so we got a victory. That was actually a pretty good game. So my Ochi Kochi died because I didn't hit my healing module. And yeah, 7.8 million damage, nine kills, four assist. Came in second place. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. That was a pretty good game, actually. I liked it. I had fun. It was decent. All right, so those games were actually pretty fun. I had a good time playing the Ochi Kochi. I'm probably going to leave it in my hangar for a few days because I haven't really played it much for a while, and it's very enjoyable. It's, it's a good robot still. There's really nothing wrong with it. I think there's a, there's a lot of different ways you can build this thing up. There's a lot of different weapons that work well on it. I really do like the blast shotguns on pretty much everything. I mean, those are great free-to-play weapons because you can build them in the workshop. I mean, sure, it takes like three weeks. If you do the, the one-day deal, if you do one-day thing and you got all six slots open, it takes about three weeks to build a weapon. And if you have the advertisement, you can build them even faster. Unfortunately, I think on the PC platforms like Steam and my games, my understanding is, unfortunately, you guys don't have videos to watch, which is a bummer, but... Android and iOS and probably probably Amazon. I don't know if Amazon does or not, but they can watch videos to finish those things faster. But the blast shotguns are amazing weapons. I love them on pretty much everything as long as I'm trying to play close. They don't do much da damage from a distance because they spread out, but up close, they're nasty. But what it really boils down to, it's a fun robot. It's a good robot. I actually like it a lot. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. So if you got one, it's still worth building. A lot of people said, hey, do you think they're going to nerf the Ochi Kochi again? I have no idea. Anything can happen at any time. I don't really see why they would, but it's a possibility, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see my Discord server, my YouTube channels, my affiliate links, ways to help support the channel and keep it running and bring you videos just like this. Huge shout out to my channel members. If you want to become one, just hit the little join button down below the video. That really helps the channel out big time. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. See ya.